You understand what I'm trying to do? And because they see how close I am to succeeding, where a lot of other so-called black leaders fail, there's a concentrated effort to stop them. They'll do anything to stop us, especially now. Because where is our opposition? In other words, like it says, who can stand against us now? Who can? We went to a battle with demons in Putnam County. And we warred against these devils, am I right? They did everything in their power to take this land and make sure that what's happening right now does not go on. They tried every trick in the book. They ain't finished. They tried slander, defamation of character. They tried to lock brothers up, harass sisters on the street, stop every car coming down and make sure. They did everything they could and not one person come out and help us. Why? Because they had us marked as a cult. Oh, there's some crazy suicide cult. Reverend Dr. Malachi Z. York, author and scholar of over 408 books, and lecturer on various subjects, teacher of religion and culture in ancient civilizations of over 40 years. Raising the consciousness of his people, Dr. York's progressive solution for Nubians in America led to the success of living for and by each other through their culture and way of life. Three major communities were born, developed from Brooklyn, New York, the Catskills Mountain, New York, and Eatonton, Georgia thus the presence of Nuwabians. With 476 acres of undeveloped land owned by the tribe, Nuwabians stood in the way of a 20-year municipal plan of the Eatonton officials. In late 1997 through 1998 AD, Eatonton town officials disrupted the progressive growth of the Nuwabian community with bogus planning and zoning violations, preventing them from building their Egyptian-style theme park. Since 1998 A.D., one zealous sheriff, Howard Richard Seals, would spearhead a frivolous investigation of false allegations of child molestation and later racketeering charges of illegally structuring money against Malachi York and the Nuwapian community. Malachi York's interest lies in uplifting Nubian people in the Western Hemisphere. He even went beyond the hearts and minds of touching Caucasians, Latinos, Asians, and American Indians. His charitable works extend to youth sponsorships and generous donations, civil rights supported issues and concerns, and under the Al Mahdi Shrine Temple, his humanitarian efforts led to community services and hospital visits to the sick and needy all throughout the state of Georgia. York's mission consists of bringing all religions together under one roof. Students lived and practiced a full life of the three monotheistic religions, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, and its pristine purity, becoming student teachers. Men would sell and propagate books and pamphlets as the women and children stayed in the community freely. Dr. Malachi York is a writer and a writer of truth or I should say nonfiction, and he's just informing the world of so much that he knows and not not to isolate him to being just a writer but however you put it in layman's terms or for for everyone to overstand out there in the public is he's a scholar doc was in the office most of the time he's in the office most of the time because he's constantly working on books. I mean, he's written over 465 books. I mean, over that, you could go as far as 500 books. He's written every single one of them. And what I was able to all times to help with is he'll dictate and we'll type and then we'll put like, you know, grammatical corrections in and things like that. This is what he did day and night, all the time, writing. All the time in the car in the car we're in the car and he's like someone he's dictating something it was like inf he's just like I've got to get this I've got to get this information to the people and that drive is what um, is what is what is actually the motivation is why we've been fighting for six years and we're not stopping and we're not gonna stop until he is free 
it was a communal lifestyle. You know, all of us have a certain connection and love for each other because of what he set up, Dr. Malakazi York, what he set up for us in the community. You know, when we went to public schools, we all traveled together in groups. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knew not to mess with us as children. You know, we had men and women who watched us to make sure our hair, our nails we were clean, clothes were pressed, you know what I'm saying, make sure we ate right. Dr. York is a person, of, uh, is a giving person, because uh, if you look at his record, what he did, it was always for the children, and that was our main goal out there, was about the children. That's why, really, we really worked the way we did, and tried to build the way we did, because everything was about the children. Malachi's vision is to raise the conscious level of Nubians worldwide. To achieve this, he always stayed firm in educating the youth through proper language and culture. The teachers that came to teach the children uh, were from overseas. We had a teacher from Morocco, a teacher from Egypt, also a teacher from Mali, uh, two teachers from Sudan, and a teacher from um, Israel. And these teachers were the best quality teachers. Um, while the children learned on the weekends, uh, the older children went to public school during the week. After they finished public school, they had to go and learn uh, different languages, cultures. He always uh, taught us to do right by ourselves, to do right by others, to be respectful. You know, he taught us the importance of exercising, the importance of uh, language, you know, the importance of education, you know, the, the importance of growing up and having an interest instead of a want, always wanting something in life, to have an interest, to grow up you know what I'm saying, and be productive as a person. The atmosphere, the atmosphere was, was beautiful, you know, with the children and, and just running, you know, and, and the thing about the land is um, people will come on the land with their children, and like most places, you know, places you go to, they, if you go in a building or something, they, you know, the, the mother's holding their kids and everything, but on the land, it's like, you know, they just let them go, you know, <laughs> mothers go one way, the kids go the other way, but it, it, the atmosphere was like, we watched each other. So everybody felt safe, children were safe, and it just land for them just to run, you know, and just, you know, to be themselves, you know. He had a loving interaction with any of the children. He was very involved with what we did with the children. Like when they got good grades, he'd want to see their report cards, and everybody would get to go to Captain D's and get a treat. That's the kind of things that he would do for them, and just different surprises and parties and events. He's the kind of person who wouldn't just look out for one person, he'd look out for everybody. If we had holes in our shoes or we needed socks or, you know, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying, he'll help out. You know, what size shoe you wear? Like, he did that to me one time. What size shoe you wear? I'm like, uh, nine. No, I'm sorry, I wore eight at the time. He said, okay, I got something for you tomorrow. Next you know, you have a brand new pair of sneakers or shoes. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of person he is. When we had our holidays, like Children's Day, or, uh, you know, what they call Halloween, we call it Prophets and Angels Day, you know what I'm saying? He made sure that everybody enjoyed themselves. His character, it was like a father. Every time he'd come into the office, he brings so much positive energy. When you're working with him, you feel like you can do anything. And he pushes you way beyond whatever your concept of what you do, what you can do, and you can do amazing things. Dr. Malakas, New York can't be in there no more. You know, it's, it's been far too long. And it's not fair for the dedication that he's done, that he has given to everyone. No man that I know of has given that much of his life, you know what I'm saying, for a group of people, anywhere. Not in my lifetime, not in this day and time, you know what I'm saying? They were taking out leaders back in the 60s before I was born. <laughs>